Hi, Taurus. Welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip them if needed. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's get started. So, sorry, I have like all this air running through me right off of the bat. What the heck? Um, <laughs> some of you might have air in your chart. I was getting some messages for you, Taurus, when I was meditating on the collective Taurus energy, and um, they were showing me what at first looked like a can of cheese whiz. I don't know if you like cheese whiz, but take it or leave it. But it actually, when I got closer, I noticed it was um, tire, you know, where you go to fill up your tires, the little cap that you put on your tires on your car. Um, and then they gave me the word tire pressure. So this is really specific, okay? But some of you um, need to check your tire pressure. And I know that's kind of out of left field, take it or leave it. That's what I saw. Um, for others of you, there's a more of a symbolic message here about releasing pressure. Um, some of you have been like kind of holding things in or um, like just needing to release yourself from feeling so pressured or from the demands of the universe or the demands of other people. You know, some of you feel like you're in the pressure cooker all the time and you just really could use a release and really... In, in the big scheme of things, Taurus, nobody can assert themselves into your experience um, unless you allow them to, right? And I know we think like, well, my boss can tell me this and boss me around or my spouse or my parents, they can make me, they can make me do things I don't want to do. And that's never the truth. No one can impede on your freedom. Um, and your freedom to choose your thoughts and your emotions and how you feel about things. That is all you. Um, and, you know, a lot of times that those restrictions we think are placed on us are really just us placing restrictions on ourselves, right? Sometimes that's a good thing because that's what makes us good employees that show up on time and follow the rules or a good in relationship. But sometimes that hinders us when we start to feel like that resentment or that angsty energy because you're being, um, you feel you're being pushed in a direction you don't want to be pushed in. It's just a matter of the way that you're thinking about it, Taurus. Um, I honestly did not plan on going that far into that, but that's what I got. So I'm also feeling a tugging right here on my inner ear. I don't know if some of you are channels, so do you channel through? Because I always feel my channel come through this ear. Or you're having some inner ear pressure. There's that pressure again. Pressure. Mm. You don't want to feel pressured. Period. Point blank. Tauruses do not like to feel pressured. In fact, the more you pressure a Taurus, the more they pressure back. Or I should say push back. <laughs> like if you tell a Taurus person, a Taurus, they say this with love. Because I'm a fellow fixed sign, so I totally understand this. If you tell a Taurus to do something that they don't want to do, they're going to do the exact opposite of what you told them to do. <laughs> because they don't like being told what to do. <laughs> like if you say to a Taurus, hurry up, they might even go a little bit slower. <laughs> Uh, it's that fixed sign nature, okay? Anyways, let's get into the tarot cards and see what we have out. I had some cards come out while I was talking there. You have Sagittarius here. Uh, that could be in your chart. You could be dealing with one. I have Aries as well, but it could just be the influencing vibes. This talks about wanting to be independent, unbridled. You know, to be able to do what you want, when you want, go where you want, to be honest, to take adventures, right? I feel like I, I, I heard, you're not the boss of me now. So some of you are, you don't want to be bossed around or you're bossing up in the energy because you got the emperor here as your overall vibe, which is a very dominating kind of masculine energy. Even if you're a feminine Taurus, 
you know, um, and this person is like sitting on their throne, like, try me. You know, I feel kind of almost like a self-righteousness coming through within the energy, but it's when it comes to the specific person or a specific situation, it's just like, you definitely know what you stand for. Whoever you're connecting with, they're in the Eight of Swords. So this is a lot of insecurities and doubts and this person having some sort of self-restrictions. Now, some of you, if the roles are flipped here and you are trying to pressure someone into doing something and they don't want to, or they don't like that feeling of you dominating the energy. So don't forget that all of this can be interchangeable. All right. I feel this person has some like anxiety going on almost or I heard I hmm? you don't know what you don't know. That's what I heard. You don't know what you don't know. All right, let's go into the recent past and see what led up to this and get more specific, shall we? So we're going to go into the recent past. How you perceive each other, how you genuinely feel underneath it all, your hopes, and your most likely future outcomes. Recent past energy, three of swords, seven of pentacles. Oh gosh, seven of swords, seven of wands. So, there's a little bit of harboring either hurt feelings or resentments uh, from the past or in the past showing up here. Like, I feel a sense of disappointment as to how something turned out either with this person or in another area of your life in the past. Um, some of you have felt lied to or you might have been doing some lying. But either way, it's a sense of feeling trapped. Now, this is what's got you bossing up in the now energy. Because in the past, there was almost a sense of feeling like... <clears throat> I don't want to say disempowered, but... There's a neediness showing up in the energy here. It's like someone needing you to answer for something, but you don't know the answer, so you lie about the answer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like someone's like, I need this and I need this now, and you don't know what you don't know, and so you just give them whatever you come up with or whatever best available information you have. But it's like... It's almost feeling like it's not your best work or not giving it your best. Like there's a lot of pressures and demands showing up in the environment. Some of you, this is still going on. Others of you, you've since come out of this energy. It's like pretending you know when you don't really know. Pretending you're okay when you're not really okay. For some of you, pretending to be happy and secure in a situation that's actually hurting you. Wow, this reading got straight into the thick of it. Let's see what the person you're dealing with is feeling recent past energy for them, the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Ten of Swords. Two of Wands. So, Taurus, whoever you're connecting with, this person, they have all of this potential here. Or they really wanted to give to the connection or uh, commit to whatever it is they're committed to or you. But... Okay. I 
heard streamlining the process. I have no idea what that means, streamlining the process. I'll come back to that. I feel like this person is a bit unstable in the energy. At least they have been in the past. You know, having a difficult time finding closure in their life, having a difficult time being able to look towards the future with hopeful eyes, feeling like they possibly missed out on an opportunity, getting all in their head about it, not really sure where their next paycheck is coming from. Why am I getting all of these money messages? Some of you, there's financial things going on or in the past that has impacted this person. This person might be a bit insecure when it comes to like their career life or the way they handle money. They're giving me Alicia Keys, if it ain't you, babe. Some people want it all, but I don't, I don't want nothing at all, if it ain't you. That's what I'm getting. That could be either side, but I feel it's this person's energy. Let's go into perception. Whew. I want to take a deep breath there. Okay, so we're going to go into perception now. Keep in mind that perception is in the eye of the beholder. But um, just because it's your truth doesn't mean it's their truth, all right? I feel a little bit distracted right now, you know? And I went to start the reading, and I immediately had a distraction come, and I had to stop the reading. And so I feel like you are, this, this could be your energy, or the person you're dealing with, but I'm picking up on like this very distracted, detached type of vibe here. So, you see this as the Seven of Cups, the Judgment card, the Moon, whoa, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Somebody just can't tell the truth here, okay? You know, um, there's a sense of feeling emotionally confused about a decision, you know, and trying to look into things here, but maybe not going about things in the most honest or forthright way, you know, and yeah. You see this person as someone who confuses you as well. Like you're confused about how this person makes decisions or <laughs> like you're confused about how this person feels as well and why they make the decisions they make when it comes to love. You do not trust this person. I felt deceitful energy in the reading. Take it as it resonates, whether that's you or they. There is no trust here. And you do not trust what this person says because you don't feel that their intentions are good. You don't have any proof, maybe. I heard the proof is in the pudding. But you don't like their energy. I don't want to say don't like because that sounds harsh. It's an untrusting energy. Some of you... It's got nothing to do with this person. Now they're giving me Tina Turner. What's love got to do with it? Some of you, this is not a love relationship. This could be someone in your work, family, or friend sector. But a lot of you, it's still, it will be intimate. Take it as it resonates. But it's, as some of you, it's like you don't trust your own emotions about this. You don't trust yourself to make the right decision. Maybe you don't feel like you know what the right answer is. So you just kind of like throw something out there and see, does it stick? No, try again. Throw something out there and see, you know, what happens when I say this, <laughs> when I do this, you know, like kind of shooting in the dark here. Let's see this person's perception, Taurus. Six of Cups, the Page of Pentacles.
five of wands in the reverse. I don't want that many. I'll keep that at the bottom of the deck. Knight of wands and the fool. So I feel like this person is really stuck on a missed opportunity from the past or just reliving the past in their mind right now. I feel like this person wants to let go of the struggle. Like they want to just launch into this next chapter and not have to worry about anything. Like there is a, there is a chapter that has closed for this person, but they still haven't energetically allowed it to close simply because they keep recalling it and every time they recall it they reactivate it in their emotional space creates a lot of tension within them makes them want to give up sometimes you know now, this person may see you as someone that they have past history with or they have memories with that they see potential in or saw potential in, but there's some sort of conflict or struggle around the connection that made them want to either take a leap of faith or give up, or maybe they go back and forth, you know, do I want the... Do I want to fight for that? Do I want the struggle or do I just want to release? There's a lot of back and forth in their energy. So let's go into the emotional space here, Taurus, and see what's going on in the emotions. All right, so we're going to go a little bit deeper now. What is Taurus feeling underneath it all? The Ace of Swords. I heard, I will be your father figure. That is George Michael. <laughs> Random. All right, so emotionally, there's clarity coming in. You're gonna, you're clear on how you feel. Um, some of you want freedom. Oh, I love that song. Okay, I'm getting uh, Bobby McGee by Janis Joplin. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. I said nothing. My father left me. Feeling good was easy, Lord, to be sang blues. Mm, check out that those song lyrics. That might be for you as well. There is a bit of harshness showing up in the emotional space. Like you are not playing a round. You know, like I feel like karate chopping as I say that. Like don't mess with Taurus. I mean, like really, you're coming off very dominant in the energy and a bit harsh in the emotional space. And if it's not harsh, it's just very serious, very outspoken. Um, you're seeing things from a different vantage point, a different perspective, and that's giving you clarity in the emotional space to speak your truth. Oh my gosh, that's what it is. You were not really speaking your truth in the past, Taurus. Maybe you were biting your tongue, maybe you were telling half-truths, who knows. But now, as we go into this energy, you are getting really clear and are either speaking your truth or knowing it. What does this person's emotional space look like? How do they feel? Judgment. And the sun. Five of Cups, the Hermit, and the Lovers. I did not mean to get that many cards, but okay. So I feel like this person, emotionally, they want to, okay, 
release the frustration is what I heard. They really want to release this frustrating energy so they can feel light and happy and connected again. But they keep getting stuck in the loss because they keep, they keep recalling it. This person may feel very connected to you. They're doing a lot of soul searching around their heart, around their emotions, around the connection. If you're not in a, if you're not currently around this person, you had an ending. They are, they cannot, they cannot right now. Like, I feel like this person is just stuck on that loss. Wanting closure, not getting closure. Focused on a missed opportunity, like the whole gamut. If it's not in regards to you, this person just, they keep getting sucked into their lower self. Needing to do some healing and soul searching around that before they can move forward in a relationship or in this connection. This person misses the happier days. See, they keep, this person keeps thinking that the past is better than what's coming for them in the future. You know, over romanticizing the past. They see now the problem when you do that, speaking of law of attraction is, is whenever you rekindle the past with the idea that it was so good, you also imply that the current now is not good. And so you create this mix of thoughts and emotions that create emotional turmoil within your body. But also, that's how you recreate the past, but not in the best way, like a repeated karmic pattern, a repeated cycle. So what is your hopes here? I feel for this person, I'm just saying. Ace of Cups, you want love, real love. That's funny because at the beginning of the reading, I got the song Real Love. I don't remember why I didn't express it. I probably just forgot, but by Mary J. Blige. You want love. Commitment. You want to be true to yourself. That's mostly what it is. Man, my card flipped. All right, give me one more card. This person wants to be able to detach from these lower level emotions. They're trying. Like, I, you know, I, I think they're trying their best to ignore the negative emotions, to push it to the side, to refocus their energy, but they... It's almost like the more they try to push against it, the more they call it into them. So sometimes that could be a significant sign from spirit that then you need to come at it from a different thought or you need to come at the situation in a different way. That's for your cross watcher. Let's see what the hopes are here. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, the most likely future outcome. Now keep in mind, the most likely future outcome can be changed based on free will, all right? You're in the driver's seat, no one else, but I'm just giving you a snapshot. Temperance. Oh, so many cards. The Knight of Swords, the Two of Swords. You're trying to keep your calm and cool, but your temper might get the best of you. Be careful about that. Right, because you're wanting to stay in control here. But there is either communication coming that you don't see or blocked communication. And or it's this message here, Taurus, about do not communicate when you're angry because there would be like an unforeseen, there's something unforeseen here. What is this? Wow, the two of cups, what? Give me one more card. 
<laughs> That's the craziest. Two of Wands. Two, two, two. Be on the lookout for two, two, two on the clock and in other areas. Two, two, two. And I can't off the top of my head think about what two means in numerology, but maybe look that up. So there's this soulmate connection here that's looking in your direction. You don't see it or you blocked it out. Some of you have blocked communication with this person or they you, but they someone still feels connected regardless and is like sitting around waiting, you know, is is this is this coming towards you? You're going to communicate with me? What what are we doing here? You know? This is hands down the most interesting reading I've had yet. Let me see what this person's most likely future outcome is. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords. There's a disconnect here between the way you're seeing things and the way this person is seeing things. You know? See, this person is trying to work on themselves, but they are stressing out and they're really getting in their head when what they really want or what's available to them is the Ten of Cups and the Empress, which is if they're just patient, if they can just be patient and soothe their energy, maybe meditate, get out of their head, clear their mind, then they would see that right around the corner is something ready to be delivered. I heard, sign, seal, deliver, I'm yours. Um, like this emotional fulfillment. This person may need to practice being more present in the present moment as a way to help focus their energy because I feel like there's all of these there's all of this good stuff circling this person that they could focus on you know they have good memories yes but they also have opportunities here and um, loved ones that are available or around them or some sort of support here but see they get too caught up in looking at the problem or looking at what they don't yet have and because they're focused on the have-nots they keep getting more of having not because that's how law of attraction works you get what you think about good or bad and it creates like a ripple effect here in their energy like an inconsistency some of you are not even aware of all of this that this person has going on underneath it all you know you might be over here Taurus ready to speak your truth you know but trying to be patient Never, all the while not knowing all this that's going on within the side of this person or could be vice versa. This person not even knowing that you're getting ready to speak your truth, possibly. Wow, where are we at? Let me get some guidance on this. Let me get some guidance for Taurus. Well, let me keep that one. Take a moment and have fun. This says, take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into a decision that you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. And I think that's what I was feeling, Taurus, this need to get all of the information and then coming to this realization during this time frame of what the truth, your truth is. And then living in that, speaking on that, acting from that space. But until you get to that space, you're best to take a moment and breathe. Then you got have fun. 
This says, stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and soul permission to have fun. So, Taurus. Intense reading, for sure. Um, let me tell you what zodiac signs you might be dealing with. You could be dealing with another Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Libra, Aries. Sagittarius. Sagittarius again. Pisces, Libra again. And Aries. That could be in your birth chart or the birth chart of the person you're dealing with. Take what resonates, though, and leave what doesn't. It is a general reading. If it resonated, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. I do go live there as well and do private chats and all that good stuff. So the links are in the description box below. If you like my styles, you can get them for yourself in my sister's online boutique, avasofiaco.com, also linked below. And for those of you who want to donate to the channel, you can do so in the about section. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best. And until next time, my friends, namaste. Bye.